Dylan Douglas, undoubtedly the best browse in the game yeah, today. No competition. Hello, is there much competition? Still the best browse in MMA today. Black and pink short for Dylan Douglas, all black for Alexander Yankov. We're on their way. Third man is Mr. Aaron Wallace. Dylan made his pro debut in the Clan Wars cage against Michelle De Silva. Lost a three round decision, but showed just how competent he was in the ground as he's doing now in top position against Yankov. Michelle De Silva has been on an absolute tear in the pro ranks as well. Just taking his time. You forget. Oh, Alexander reversal. Yankov, Yankov on top. Out. Straight away, Dylan Douglas looking to tie up the arm and go hunting for a submission of his own. And of course, pro ranks, so we're back to three five minute rounds. Elbows are back in play. And Yankov just being calm here. And Douglas just try to pull the head down of Yankov, not allowing the posture, trapping that right arm of Alexander Yankov. Just using that can opener, which yeah. is legal. Has to be, the point has to be made, this is a professional bout, so elbows are legal, knees to the head are legal. Rounds are five minutes as opposed to three. Aaron Wallace, a referee, just looking closely here. He's going to be asking Alexander Yankov to do a little more work on top if he wants to stay here. Right on cue. Looking for the arm. Dylan Douglas, but Yankov aware. Nice work by Yankov on top. Off is starting to utilize that left hand and hammer down while Douglas goes looking for the arm. Doesn't quite have, oh, re readjusted the angle, it's gonna go belly down on it. Doesn't quite have the grip that he wants. I see Alexander Yankov maybe try and kneel on the face of Dylan Douglas here. Dylan Douglas just trying to break that grip and peel that arm down, hyper extend through the hips. Douglas might try and underhook the leg here, decides not to. Extends the arm and looking to go belly down again and that opportunity came from Yankov throwing a strike. Safe now. Just over two minutes remaining here in the opening round of our co-main event, Clan Wars 43 in Belfast. Yankov does well to smother the stand-up attempt by Dylan Douglas. Nice work as well, used, utilizing the tools around them, that tool yeah, being the cage, smart. just to push away. Steps across the head momentarily, potentially could look for crucifix position here and starts riding the point of his elbow across the brow of Dylan Douglas. So this Lis is well. Listening to the crowd, shouting, Dylan, get up. Yankov just gave a little bit of space there, and Dylan Douglas used that to get out the side door. Still nice little shots from Yankov, landing in the clinch there. Trying to sneak around the back is Dylan Douglas. Guys do a full 360, end up back where they started against the cage. Looking for a trip. Body lock here, Dylan Douglas. Oh, that's a big knee. Yeah. Pointed a knee into the torso. 
Douglas looking to spin and take the back, does so, oh. and drags Jankov down. Beautiful work from Dylan Douglas. But again, needs to get his work going here on top. He's only got under 30 seconds to work here. Jankov's got a hold of the neck. And Jankov looking to switch again. May switch to the guillotine here. Can't see how safe the neck is of Dylan Douglas. Coming up to the 10 second mark of the round. Dylan trying to tripod on that head. Looks safe at the moment. First round in the books. Academy for their striking. And it's a nice mixture there, Washeen, as well. Madness balanced by calmness. <laughs> Second round underway. And interesting to see if Yankov can showcase what he has been training under at DCA. It's mad to think that we've seen Dylan Douglas compete as high as middleweight in the amateurs. And here he is now. Perhaps you could even argue that he's a slightly undersized featherweight. Yeah. Yeah. There goes high Yankov. Nice work to the body from Yankov. And like aesthetically looking at them, there is a big difference in, in height. So you'd imagine that would also translate, translate into reach. And Yankov would be happy to keep it at this range. As you can see there, Douglas almost had to leap in with that lead hook and he was still way off. He's going to have to punch his way in. He's not going to get single shots off on Yankov. Interesting though, Yankov's the one initiating the clinch here. Double underhooks here, I think now, so it's an over under 50 50. And battle for position, and Douglas pushes Yankov up against the cage. Short elbow by Yankov. Douglas throws it a back elbow himself. Nice Yank elbows Yankov. here, yeah. And Douglas smart there, yeah. he's always taking shots, turned his head so that them elbows would become illegal. Two hands Big class gets a take down, Dylan Douglas. That was three and a half minutes to get some work in, but Yankov trying it. Douglas used the case beautifully there. I don't know if you saw it. He put the, the soles of his feet on the case to push back. It's not the first time Dylan Douglas looked like a flagpole in this one. He's been fully vertical a couple of times. Yankov is himself a BJJ purple belt, so he knows how to cross his T's and dot his eyes here. Sits up and Douglas looking for that neck. Short choke. Oh, he's underneath the chin. If he can switch the high elbow here, this would be very dangerous. And of course, with the professional rule set, he could have utilized knees to the head there as well. Separation and Yankov just used that big left hand to get in and try yeah. to get a takedown of his own. And very, very smart, wasn't it? The way he just chained those attacks together. Looking for the but trip, but almost tried the lateral drop there, but it ended up with Douglas on top of him momentarily. Throws a hold of that neck again, Dylan Douglas, but easily escaped by Yankov and finds himself in side control and. Bound to be frustrating for Douglas right now. Find himself in this position because what Yankov's doing so well is solidifying the position and just forcing Dylan Douglas to do all the work. He's wary of giving up his back here. Yeah, the corner calling for him to take the back and go behind. Those are nice little elbows, perfectly legal. Just as Douglas sits up, expect the hooks. He's only got one hook in. He needs to make the adjustment. He does well to. Maintain that back position there, Phil. Potential here for a calf slicer, should Yankov see it. If he were just to roll back, triangle his own legs, roll back and pull the instep of Douglas towards himself, he'd have a, a very nasty submission. And again, Douglas trying to move. He's in that turtle position, but it's allowing Yankov one hook, driving elbows into the side of the dome Those of Dylan elbows Douglas. Are nasty, just attacking the equilibrium of Douglas. 
All perfectly legal shots. Still hasn't got that second hook in, but doesn't seem too concerned. He's happy to land punishing blows. Still 40 seconds thereabouts remaining in this second round. Plenty of time to work here for Alexander Yankov. Thirty seconds to go. Dominant second round, or second half of the second round. And the thing about this tactic as well is, Dylan Douglas has been defending, he's been taking elbows. Yeah. He's gonna be exhausted picking himself up off the canvas here. Again, money in the bank for Yankov, who may have it in his head that the third round is where he gets the finish. Third and final round of your co-main event of the evening. And Yankov roaring at Dylan Douglas there. I'm not too sure, I, didn't, I think they didn't touch gloves there. Mm. Can't see why they're In on the neck here, Dylan Douglas. Oh, beautiful roll. Yankov with a beautiful transition, just ruled his way out. Really, really seamless jiu-jitsu, wasn't it? From here, just expect Yankov to free him off and land those elbows. Douglas was aware he was potentially giving up his back if he kept moving in that position. Knee on belly and crucifix position. He's going to make that adjustment and tie up, but nice work there by Dylan Douglas to get that arm back out, but a sharp elbow. He's going to go knee on bicep and look for that again. Step Can over, step step. over. May try and work for Kimura here. No, has a grab of that ankle, preventing Douglas from moving. He seems to be, it's almost as if he has a, a bet with a friend of his saying, I bet you can't finish with a rear naked choke, because this is what he seems to, to be having a strong emphasis on right now. It's the subtle position and changes that's allowing Yankov to really dominate. When you see yeah. Douglas roll, potentially looking for a leg here, but... Well, that's the key word, no, it's subtle. It's all seamless, it's all these little intricate little movements that that people don't necessarily appreciate, but are so vital to the fundamentals of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and grappling in MMA. And again, pushing the hips on the left-hand side and then pinning down the shoulder on the upside with the cross face as well. And it's just pinning Douglas flat, not allowing him to threaten from the bottom or regain full guard. putting the hand on the chin to almost drop the elbow down after it. Gonna try and feed his right leg back to push down on Douglas's left leg and free his own leg. The knee in here for Dylan Douglas. He needs to separate and get space and scramble, but. In fairness, he is trying. Yeah. It's just that Yankov is so adept that his anticipation has been fantastic. It's almost like he's a couple of steps ahead. Head and arm here, Phil. Yep, if he can get himself to the other side, he needs to pin his head to the mat. Yeah, Douglas aware of it. Now he's going to look for it. Look for the Kimura, perhaps. Yeah, Kimura, position. potentially. Douglas uses it to try and reverse it. Does, but, but beautiful. Again, there's that anticipation from Yankov. Going to sit around. And this is beautiful. The transitions here. It's almost like watching two guys that are really good flow rule together. Yeah. And you can see the subtleties, it's not, it's not brute strength, it's not rushed, it's, it's just smooth transitions. Yeah, he's, and he's not landing in these positions by mistake. There's yeah. all a degree of malice of forethought with everything he does. He's taking what Dylan Douglas is offering and capitalizing on each time. And it's just under two minutes to go in the round. You've got to think, what does Dylan Douglas have left in the tank? He's to looking to maybe try and get the hammer lock on the opposite side if he reaches the arm trail, but uses the wrist control there to Step into that half, and he's going to step up here. Nice hips there again by Yankov, and really displaying superior top game jiu-jitsu. 
and not panicking. Sometimes when you see, this is the difference between, I suppose, pros and, and, and amateurs is when they get into position, Phil Douglas has done well to reverse here, but just to finish that point, they don't panic and think, I need to improve my yeah, position, yeah, I need yeah. to get better. They just seamlessly flow. Oh, and look at that work from Yankov. Just as Dylan is attempting to pass, hooks up the leg with a butterfly and, and extends. But Dylan rides it out, he's on top. Got one minute to work. What do you do if you're Dylan Douglas here? Do you try and stand up and get out of this guard? And, and, and that that would be what, again, beautiful transitionary work, but Dylan Douglas yeah, anticipates it. Douglas there. I'd be saying to, to Dylan, stand, stand up out of the guard, take a step back, throw everything, including the kitchen sink. Yeah, back, back yourself to win the, the home run lottery. You just bite down on your gum shield and go at the man. Watch out for the triangle. Good Douglas posture Foster from Douglas. Up, look up to the sky. Safe here, but he's almost got to risk it for a biscuit here, hasn't he? 100%, man. Could find himself in the triangle here. 10 seconds to go. Douglas on top, but it might be too little, too late in the scope of this fight. No! Yeah. 